Have you ever felt like the universe is working full force against you? Where every other day something happens that's not in your favor, until eventually you start expecting worst case scenarios everywhere. And while a lot of it is out of your control, it sends you into a funk and your weary mind starts accidentally self-inflicting more unfavorable events until you feel like you're living on eggshells, constantly worried about your next mistake. Well, I know that trout and coffee may seem like sunshine and rainbows, but this is my life journal, and life never goes as planned. So in early October, I wrote down the dates for a hired shoot that I had in New Hampshire at the end of the month. And once the time came around, I planned to leave on a Tuesday after my van was fixed. But the Monday before, I got this text. I thought I was seeing things. I know that I wrote the right date down. I specifically went into our email chain to confirm before I wrote it down. Thing is, we had the exact same shoot plan last year but it didn't work out because of supply chain issues. And so we pushed it to 2022 and had a nearly identical email chain about it this year, but it was on a different email account and I took the dates from the 2021 chain. We only had two nights there and we needed as much time as we could to shoot. We had already lost a whole day and a golden hour and a blue hour. And though I really wanted to take the van, we decided we would just send it that night and load Old Blue and get there as soon as we could. It was about a four hour drive the way we go and we wouldn't get there till the wee hours. And then we'd have to get up at sunrise and shoot nonstop till we left. But it was what we had to do to make it work. And so we went to my cabin to get all our supplies and we're feeling excited to get some coffee and power through the night. Though these kind of situations can be high stress, there's something about them that kicks my instincts into gear and makes me excited to find solutions and make things happen against all odds. And so we were fully packed and ready to go when this happened. Well, we're already late, and uh, the truck, I mean, out of nowhere, just won't start. I guess the starter's been a little sloppy lately, hasn't been catching great, um, but it just won't even turn over at all right now. Hit the starter and the solenoid with hammer, tapped it a bunch of times, did multiple rounds, won't budge at all, so we're stranded. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta send out an SOS, and we have one last option to get to Winnipesaukee. But man, sometimes the universe just works against you. So it was late, and we were stranded out in the woods. And like so many times before, Allie's mom came and saved us. And the next morning, Though it took a few hours later than expected, the Volkswagen guru synced those carbs and sent us on our way. So it was back to my cabin past the yellow lower canopy of late October to reload everything before heading north. But of course the van has a starting issue and it needs to be pop started once the engine heats up. But a pop 
start here or there wasn't going to stop us from getting the job done. We were headed to Lake Winnipesaukee to meet my friend Kara, get an update on her Winnie Socks brand, and create some new content for her. And so we were staying at a small cabin on a lake, the same one I stayed at back in 2020 when I first worked for Kara. And if you've been watching Trout and Coffee for a while, you might remember that video. If not, I'll put a link in the description. And to add to the graceful start of the trip, it was somber and rainy which meant we wouldn't get a beautiful golden hour or a bright blue hour to film. But when things are out of your control, all you can do is roll with it. There's a hill. Oh, that's it. That's not it. That's Mim. It's up here. So if we come this way on the way back, we have to. That is all time. And so we arrived right before dark, and were immediately met by the manager who said, I didn't think you were coming. And I explained that we had been through a mix-up and had a tough 24 hours, and he told us how they were closing up most of the property tomorrow. But he was a cool guy and he could feel our woes, and after some coordinating, said we could have one more night. Did you touch the water yet? No. Cold? Pretty cold, but I really wanted to swim through the morning. And so relief had set in. We would have ample time to film, and we wouldn't have to rush. I was excited and amped up, and the windows of our little cabin were starting to glow, and so I was right into work mode, doing everything I could to capture the beauty. I felt on top of the world, like finally I had caught a break, because tons of other stuff had happened in the background of my life this October, to the point that my luck had become a running joke with my friends and I. So in the midst of this tiny wind and all the glory, I went to move the van and get a different angle of it, and felt a huge crunch when I backed up. The canoe hit first, and it smushed the roof rack, twisted the mounting points, and dented the bumper. I felt like falling to my knees and giving up. A stupid self-inflicted wound on my recently refinished van, all because I was careless. And now, I wasn't sure if we'd even be able to get my favorite canoe back home. But Allie calmed me down and we loosened up a bit as Kara was on her way. And I was excited for her to meet Allie and to hear all the updates on her brand after two years away. Good to see you. Hello. Hi, it's so nice to meet you. Oh 
Oh my gosh. I was thinking, where did you guys meet? Because you were, it was two years ago. Um, we, we, you were here. And, yeah, right. It was, and, yeah, it was your just name, after. Yeah. Right That's after. That's when just after. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. So yeah. excited to see you. It's <laughs> yeah. crazy. I know. Yeah, two lots years. happened. It's like two years feels it's like a lot has happened, but also feels yeah. like standstill too, you know? At the same time, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't wait to catch up with you. Just share everything going up. Wait till I tell you what <laughs> <laughs> I can't this. even imagine. No, it's gotten worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you from the beginning. But I just tried these on. This is the real deal. It's like the bottom of a bean boot. Yep. That's all I like to say, classic New England. Yeah. 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 I'm so stoked. And they're wide, you know, they're wider yeah, than the other ones, are, yeah. Way lighter. Lighter, yeah. Traction. It's been quite the process. I know, it's crazy. It's been two years. It almost feels like, it kind of feels like it was yesterday. Yeah, Winnie's is doing really good. Um, I've sent nine children to go to camp, which is amazing since I saw you. So really excited. You know, Winnie's sponsors children to go to camp. I've got a new soul which is excited, a new Oversock, which I know you're gonna love. What's great about the new Oversock is if you already have Winnie's socks, you can purchase this new um, Oversock sole. It still fits with the current socks. So it's just an evolution of what I had before. The other one was amazing and did a great job, but this one just has more of a classic New England feel, a little bit of a wider feel and a little bit more coverage. So great for you know going out and getting the wood in the snow and things like that. Um, I came up with a new, I call it the Winnie's Cozy Bundle, which is a blanket wrap. As I thought about extending the line, I, you know, I'd be sitting out there in my Winnie's socks and I'd be chilly and I'd always grab a blanket and so I thought it was the natural, you know, next step is to bring a Winnie's Cozy Bundle, so including a blanket to go along with the slipper socks. And so what's unique about it is that it has slits in the arms. So if I want to sit out by the fire pit, have a drink, if I want to sit, you know, sit on the dock, have my coffee or my tea in the morning, it just kind of keeps me cozy. So it kind of goes with the feel. So I've also launched um, a new color, which I call the pine green, well, which is really exciting for the holiday season. So I know when I came in, we talked about it. Your video has, has made a lasting impact. It's, it's people from all over the world have reached out who have wanted to purchase Winnie's or have purchased Winnie's. And I just love Lake Winnipesaukee. One big thing, I have my patent. So when I came up with the concept, I always knew that it was unique and there was nothing out there on the market. I spent many years working with you know, patent attorneys to figure out how I can protect it. In January 2022, the US patent uh, was issued for Winnie's socks. So it protects how the sock with the magnet in the back connects to the oversock sole. So you go indoors and outdoors and your feet always stay cozy and your socks always stay clean. So it's been a long journey and a lot of back and forth and a lot of tears <laughs> that kind of went into it. But I'm pretty excited for what this means for the future of Winnie Socks. Anybody need another beer? I was gonna ask, <laughs> yeah, I'll take one. Yeah, I'll take one. But like, if I'm keeping you up, I'll go. No, on no, no, no worries. Oh, are no. you guys hungry or anything? Or are you, did you want to go anywhere or are you? We were going I'll back I'll do whatever. <laughs> um, the only thing I would call, the, uh, there's a place, it's at the Mexican restaurant in town, I and mean, we could go, I think they were open until 10. <laughs> And so we had a lot of fun catching up with Kara and getting some late night enchiladas. And the next morning we woke to more clouds and rain. Something about walking around on an empty camp like this at the end of the season made me feel nostalgic for made up stories I envisioned as I looked around. I just imagine the memories some families have of places like this, and I can't wait to create those kind of memories with my own little family one day.
This is nuts. We had a lot of footage to get in the short time we were here. And though part of me always longs for golden sun when I'm on a job, the rain has its own beautiful ambiance, and it fits the cozy vibe of Winnie's quite well. And though if it were nice out, we would have done a lot of exploring, we decided to stay nearby and enjoy the camp in the rain. throughout the property. And then Allie made a glorious breakfast plate featuring some surprise waffles, which really hit the spot. I showed up here, it's 2020, tail end of the season. Hadn't shot all that much this that fall in the grand scheme of things. And arrived and it was just completely peak. It was like this in here with the oaks, but there was a little bit more, like for example, that bird birch tree right there mm -hmm. was full of yellow. There was a little bit more color surrounding the front here. These trees still had leaves on them and stuff. But that said, like, this is fantastic. I mean, you can't complain. And I picked up the guitar and wrote a little song that we could laugh at for the rest of the day before we headed out in the rain to try and bend the roof rack back into shape. If only my joke would dry and my
And after we spent most of the morning shooting content for Winnie's, we had fun playing in the old rec room for a while. And then it was back to capturing all the autumn details while we waited for a break in the rain to take that old blue boat out for a cruise. final morning, we got to see the lake covered in golden sunshine. We had to be out early as they were closing everything up, but I felt content as I knew I had done a good job for Kara, and I was excited to get home from our last fall trip and finally settle in to November. 
We still had a few places we wanted to stop on the way home, and I was feeling grateful to have a sunshine day for the long ride back. And though I was bummed about the injuries to the van and a bunch of other stuff going on in the background of my life, mornings like this always make everything feel okay. Where you're with someone you love, doing what you love, and feeling the warm sun on your skin. When you have certain goals that you're dedicated to reaching and you sacrifice for, it's easy to get tunnel visioned. But happiness is a tall, open overlook. <laughs> Wow, there's so many interesting leaves here. This is a totally different kind of maple. We all have our own stresses, our own problems with work and family, our own versions of Nirvana and Eden. We all spend time thinking about the future and how good it will be once X and Y happen. And though it's so much easier said than done, you don't need to wait to be happy. And this trip was a great example of that for me. I kept thinking, things will get better after I chip away at my debt this fall and fix the truck and the van and actually finish the cabin. And while that's true, it doesn't mean I couldn't be fully present in this day and everything it had to offer. But in the true comedy of the universe, it was on this morning I got a call from the mechanic about my old Land Rover which ironically is my daily driver. And he said the oil leaking into the cylinders could call for an engine rebuild. <sighs> it was definitely time to get a simple and reliable vehicle in my life that could still do the tasks I needed. It had become undoubtedly clear that my vehicles were a huge source of my debt and stress. It's tough because it's all my own fault. They're all decisions I made when I was younger with different goals and more money. And now, they're a big part of my brand. 
Sometimes I feel trapped in my past decisions and I get mad at myself. But hindsight is 2020, and you can't move forward without keeping your eyes on the road. I look into your eyes, I see we're out of time. I guess no one's to blame, nobody crossed the line I guess we couldn't see, somehow we couldn't feel Maybe we rose too fast, maybe we got too high But I The only way to let self-inflicted wounds heal is to avoid wallowing in regret and instead study the experience and convert it to wisdom. Our mistakes give us valuable stories that can turn us into good teachers one day. We'll be no hard goodbyes, thank God we're civilized. Be on our separate ways as we fade into gray. the way, the way you used to feel Maybe we rose too fast, maybe we got too high Life gives everyone lemons, no matter how good they have it, and they'll be sporadically delivered all throughout your years. It's your job to decide if you'll curse them and try and forget about them, or if you'll accept them for what they are and use them to your advantage. Do what we could, my friend, but now we're at the end. 